Hello. Hello. Oh, nice. Oh. And you save Hello. money on toilet. I'm here. Hello. Kicks Hello. down Hello. the door. We're talking about bidets. <laughs> toilet yeah. paper, uh, squatty potties. Squatty potties, bidets. <laughs> you promise. Oh my God. It's a different conversation. We promise nothing. Oh. Stop. Oh my God. We promise nothing. We just keep coming out for it. <laughs> we promise <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you will get nothing. For we give nothing. <laughs> Prove it. Prove that we promised anything. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, uh, Squatty Potty was the uh, topic of today's pre-session yeah. discussion. So. Epic. That's one bingo right there. That's one. <laughs> well, That's one. Freebie. Count them one space. Well, I hope you guys um, put that as a square. Yes. yes. So no. our, our bingo duck is unavailable today. So in fact, oh, we, no. so we win by default. bingo today. Yes, you do. We did this by. for nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Gosh. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, well, you guys are all aboard the Lady Luck sailing off to the west. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, recap of the last session. And I just got to scroll up through uh, <clears throat> all of this. And uh, <laughs> yeah. it's only a couple squatty potty images. Look, I like to be dramatic. <laughs> it's a solid block. Yeah. I like how I posted three just to be really thorough. So yeah, you really like this got one, the this idea. One, this one. Like, wait, here's all the that's, examples. That's at least two scrolls through. Yeah, but can uh, your desk do that, Brett. Can your standing desk do that? <laughs> what? Yeah. Go down Squatting really low so Brett. I can squat. Yes, it can, Laura. Like, there's no. Do you, you mean I'm turn my desk you. into a squatty potty? I think I yeah, can get yeah, it yeah. low enough where I can like and she stand said it's on my good desk. For your yeah. Chakras. It's yeah. Good for your Wait, why is it good for chakras? your chakras? What does that even mean? Yeah, can you explain, Benji? Yeah, it's basically. all about alignment, I think, and and just ease of <laughs> ease of passing for sure. All right, the expert has spoken. All right, passing. there it is. Passing, like, I did have an image movement? to hand, like shockingly quick. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm clearing my throat. Oh no, I'm not God. telling you guys to shut up. I, that that felt <laughs> really. No, 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 it's Brett. You should be telling us to shut up. No, oh no, no. I don't want to be that guy. The all right. Times I've had people clear their throat, and then I'll be like. Waiting for them to like say what they're gonna say, and they're like, "No, nah, just like, no, I just, I just gotta clear my throat." Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just clear my throat. Sorry, man. Uh, like, but oh, I, I guess you were getting my attention. I guess now more than any uh, ever, and I think now would be a perfect time to get into the recap in today's yeah, session. Clear your throat. Yay! <clears throat> All right. Uh, so on our last session, session sixteen of season three. God, this season is long. What is happening here? <laughs> Our group of adventurous explorers found themselves in a conf confrontation with Captain Ironside and his crew. As the battle ensued, a resonant sound reverberated within Tantu, which awakened his eldritch form. This time, however, the transformation was rather unusual as he morphed into a colossal creature known as a Mamorath. Inside Tantu, there was a struggle between his original self and this gigantic entity who revealed himself to be someone named Vulcan. After some internal deliberation, Vulcan concluded that Tantu was an acquaintance of someone by the name of Talas. Recognizing this association, Vulcan was inclined to lend his formidable strength to Tantu. Amid the chaos of the fight, Leighton made a disconcerting discovery. Nicholas, uh, who was captured by Ironside, had vanished from the attainment of a potato sack. Leighton suspected Governor Tenebrom, who resides in the Tower of Divinity, to be, be to be behind Nicholas's sudden disappearance. The battle against Ironside and his crew intensified, featuring a spectacular display of explosive cannon arm attacks and powerful swings from the half-giant adversary. However, the tide of the fight took an unexpected turn when Ironside was engulfed by the void. This dark energy began to consume Precious. With no choice, our party made their escape through the dreams, retreating to Leighton's ship, the Lady Luck. They managed to disembark just in time before Kreshos was completely swallowed by the nightmarish void. With Kreshos lost to the void, the party sets a new course. They now sail towards the west, or sorry, towards the east. I get my east and west mixed up all the time, my bad. They now sail towards the east with the silhouette of a colossal tower looming ominously beyond the horizon. Their next destination on this ever unfolding adventure within the memory amalgamation, hoping to be one step closer from unlocking Olive and QB's locked memories. Uh, anything I might have uh, missed? That sounds good to me. We whooped ass. That's what this recap is. We whooped ass. 
Uh, yes. Correction, you whooped ass. I did like 50 damage a turn, and I missed. I, well, I healed. Well, yeah, you I. Also uh, ass. Appar <laughs> apparently, update 10 may have broken some of your characters, so they have been fixed at this point. Uh, we got yes. some patch notes. The patch notes are in. Incoming patch right. notes. Uh, Howie uh, now gets an additional plus two to attack uh, rolls when casting spells and a plus two to, to their DCs. Um, oh, yeah. QB now has a 19 intelligence. And Terrifying. that is, I think that's pretty much it. I think everyone else is good to go. Um, Any nerfs, Brett? Uh, no any, nerfs. Any patch notes. Okay. No patch notes. Oh, and uh, Kopi now should. Mm, nope, mm -hmm. it doesn't display, but that's okay. <laughs> nope. uh, as a friendly reminder, Kopi, you are immune to being paralyzed and restrained because of your ring of free action. Ring of oh, cool. my, my what? what your you ring say? of free action. Oh, my you know, something you got oh, yeah. like that's three months kid. ago? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. We're good to go that's there. Right. That's a thing. Wait, did I get hmm? paralyzed recently and I didn't nope. say anything? I don't think I don't think you did. Uh, but oh. it's just more of a reminder because it hasn't come up yet. And more so Brett was just poking through our sheets and was like, oh yeah, like you have this. You have this, you have this. Yeah, just making sure everything's working appropriately. Now that my focus is is back, I'm like, oh yeah, let's actually do some maintenance on everybody to see what is broken and what's not so everyone should be good as i unpause uh Friends captain late uh captain Layton, you are currently sailing off to the east uh aboard your ship of the lady luck uh to let everyone know what they're doing as the ship continuously sails off to the east you'll notice a couple of stairwells uh over here with your token selected uh if you walk over to the stairwell or even if you don't walk over to the stairwell left click it or right click it i forget which one it is uh you will teleport into the room that uh, is adjacent in there so there's a room underneath here and a room over here one two three four five okay uh seven and uh, yeah, you'll see there's two doorways over here, doors here. The ship contains multiple levels. Um, I would also like to let you know uh, that uh, now that you are sailing, you are able to do a long rest. Simply, <laughs> we're gonna be doing RPG rules, which means sleeping in uh, any of the hammocks downstairs uh, will count as completing a long rest <laughs> as you just s like an interact. sail off. Yeah, as you sail off over to the east. Uh, but. But it seems to be smooth sailing, says the ominous tower divinity uh, off to the, to, the, to the east, ominously hovers over. <laughs> and with that, uh, you, are, you, are, you are free to roam about the ship and say and do as you want. A giant mammoth uh, is still walking around here. Uh, their heavy steps oh. is kind of like rocking the entire ship a little bit uh, with every step that they take. <clears throat> Elefonto, can you can you please calm down with your stopping? Huh? <laughs> Elefonto, hello. Elefonto, <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> what do you want, Came small prepared. weak thing? <laughs> I am not. We watch your tongue. What happened to Tonto? He's in here somewhere. Can I speak to him? No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are we going anyway? Yeah, what he said. Um. Well, we should probably ask the captain up uh, up on deck. Captain, captain number two. Uh, I was gonna run stop. over to captain number two. Stop. <laughs> stop. 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 I thought you were saying <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> every time. Stop claiming this. Every every footstep. Uh, that Vulcan makes just shakes the ship a little bit. Like, you can feel it jostle within the water. That's... We need to keep him on one side of the ship. Well, maybe in the middle. He's torn to already. <laughs> uh, Captain number two? I prefer Captain Big A. <laughs> Captain Big B. Um, we, uh... Captain Big A here, by the way. Uh, we have a, <laughs> an elephant creature that wishes to know where we're going. Ah, yes, Captain B. I see you did not get our memo here. We are headed east towards 
Ted, is it Ted, Ted, Tenabram? Ted, whatever that guy's name is, that I <laughs> right, can't pronounce. Right, right. Ten, Tenabram. 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 Tenabram, I think it was. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, That's... all right, Captain C. Thank you for the report. I'll leave you two to it. Uh... <laughs> Layton will look at the uh, at at the big mammoth looking character and kind of approach him and kind of look him in the eyes and just whisper it's really hard being the most powerful person in the room isn't it oh tell me about it oh it's exhausting exhausting sometimes you just it's like carrying a proverbial rock on your back all the time. You're just always just aching and wanting to sleep from all of the whining and the nagging. I just want to kill them. I know it's it's very common for a captain to want to murder his crewmates, but you have to remember that everyone here, despite all their flaws, despite what's going on with them, they fear you and they Good. respect you. I don't know who the fuck he is! Hey! You want to kill us all the time? Hey, excuse me. Just move, just go around. (laughs) (laughs) Can't you make this thing go any faster? I'm going as fast as I can. I. I, No, I, I, I don't. Without that, I just mean, can't we like picture ourselves there and then like, poof, you know? I, I, I see. Because you're a turtle, everything moves really slow. So no. just for you, I will talk even slower. We are going as fast as we can. All right. I, I'm talking to the wrong person. What? No, you're talking to the ca- The captain! I'm the captain! Ugh. That's okay, Captain C. I don't know why I tried talking to a dream. <laughs> It'll be over oh. soon. Also captain D, I don't know what to do. I've just... I'm, I'm trying my best to mm, hold it together, mm, but... Mm. I'm so well, tired. Maybe, Captain E, you should think, uh... We should probably designate tasks for everybody to help us operate this fine, fine vessel of mine. All right. Mm. I know, I know. She raises her hand. Uh, Yes, (laughs) Kopi. I should watch over on the tip of the the ship. That'll be my job. Do you want to be strapped to the front of the bow? We have lots of rope. Yes. You don't we even don't know that. what that place is called. I meant to... No. Wait, what is it, what is it called? <laughs> uh, front it's of the a bow. Ship, it's a bow. The bow, yes. About oh, okay. what? <laughs> yes, the uh, bow. Uh, yeah, uh, the bow is the front of the ship, right? I'm pretty... I'm, I'm like 18% sure. Uh, Why Captain is F? everyone saying my last name? Uh, Captain F, out. I thought you were the captain here. I, I thought am you the were captain going here. up to the crow's nest. No, no, no. Can we go to the crow's nest? Yeah, I mean, you can. You can climb here. up really easily. Uh, yeah, so you'd have to uh, climb up here. But yes, if you'd like to go up there, just let me know. Can, can I spider Wait. climb to the top? Absolutely. Like a real like, freak. It's like she has <laughs> eight legs. Yubi <laughs> <laughs> climbs up to the crow's nest. <laughs> Can picturing see like everything. the exorcist. <laughs> and then for Elefanto, you know, uh, he's trying to be all strong and stuff. So I think his job should be, uh, uh, Dre- Dreamo, you can be, uh, he can, he can lift you. Yes. Uh, you can work out. What the hell are you talking about? This is perfect. Okay. Everyone scatter. No, you you gave like one person a job, Kopi. You can't. It's that's not, not even a job. This is why you're not captain. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, 
Well, you keep giving everybody nicknames. That's you seem pretty job. good at that. Yeah, uh, you, you go sleep. All right. So uh, <laughs> here in yeah here inside, in you'll enter into the captain's den. You'll see uh, various maps scattered about, and a voice from underneath the table. <laughs> who, 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 who's there? Who's there? You'll hear from underneath the table. And then you'll see <laughs> nothing. You'll walk out. Oh, hey, oh. uh, we got a stowaway. A stowaway? I don't allow stowaways. Finally, I have the, the mask. What, <laughs> Finally, I the mean, wheel. I mean, the wheel. <laughs> what, a, what a brave stance to take as a pirate captain. I don't allow I stowaways. I tolerate zero stowaways. <laughs> I will kill it, but I will not allow stowaways. If they're going to be a, if they're going to be a stowaway, I demand rent. <laughs> uh, Makes sense to me. Stepping in, uh, Kopi, you'll look around. You'll see the den of the uh, the pirate, like sort of like the uh, the pirate captain's room, sort of uh, like the war room, if it were. Maps scatter across this table. Uh, various treasures uh, upon this table. You uh, click on it throughout, it'll teleport you. Oh, thank you. I was trying to figure out. There we go. I'm smart. Um, she's gonna draw her spear and then. Where are you? We know you're in here. He's uh, under the table. He gestured oh. there. Layton slowly, like, starts knocking the chairs over one by one. <laughs> as the chairs are getting pulled over. Come on. I don't want to hurt you. I just want payment. The chairs keep getting knocked down, but no response from underneath the table. <clears throat> well, it seems like this trip's gonna take a while, but at least it's entertaining. Uh, she's gonna get on the floor and crawl under the table. As you look underneath the table, the floor is pristine and clean. Uh, you will not see anybody underneath the table. You'll stand up. Oh, are you picking things up? The noise, nah, you're getting noise gated by the, you, by the way, I Alex. Heard. I'm getting noise gated? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Layton, what to do. uh, Layton makes his way towards the other table and starts knocking the chairs over. <laughs> No, you, not that. Oh, okay. Uh, meanwhile, from above deck, you guys are just hearing chairs getting knocked over left and right from all for ball over uh, underneath this area. Oh God! I hope it's not. <sighs> all right, Wood Gnome, if that's you. I'm going to give you the count of five to come out. One, four, five. Nothing. <laughs> well, I swear I heard him under here. And I kind of get down on the ground and start like knocking around on the floors. Like... Well, while the three of you are looking around the captain's cabin, uh, QB, what are you doing? Um, <clears throat> I think, like, Luna is saying to QB, like, did I hear them say Wood Gnome? Did you hear that? Wood, wood Gnome? Uh, maybe. Okay. If, if there really is someone down there named Wood Gnome, you can't trust that guy at all, okay? Don't trust what he says. He's a, he's a bad gnome. So then, I think... QB's a little curious now, so she kind of heads down. All right. Uh, I will bring you down there. So, uh, as you uh, come down there, uh, you are able to, with the token or token selected, uh, have you guys been left-clicking or right-clicking clicking to get into the uh, into the room? Left-clicking. Okay, left. yeah. With, yep. Oh, okay. And there it is, and then you, you did that. Uh, while QB explores uh, underneath there, uh, Olive and Howie, what are the two of you doing? 
I'm staring contest. <laughs> uh, 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 Howie's actually uh, very small relative to the giant wheel of the ship, but he's pretty sure he's in command right now, so he's having a great time. We he's tapping turn foot. that wheel. Olive's gonna try to start climbing the wheel. With all his might. <laughs> you begin... No, no, Olive, don't as, do that. As you climb the wheel, you'll begin to see it <laughs> shift lightly as the ship begins to start drifting a little to the right. Uh, he's gonna run around to the other side. Okay, I've got this all under control, as any captain should. <laughs> he's just gonna hold it contest? with both hands and get lifted uh, up, absolutely. I Absolutely. Go ahead and give me two strength checks. Oh, God. Not saving throws, checks. Oh my oh. god! So it's an even on, match Olive. as you two are just going back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> and eventually it keeps the ship uh, and nice and even. Hey. We're working together. Yeah, we're maintaining a steady course. I'm on this side, he is on that side. Are we both just like dangling? Yeah. Like, holding it <laughs> yep. with each hand. <laughs> yep, and it's keeping the ship uh, straight. Perfectly balanced. Captain yeah. F! What's up? You better keep the boat straight, my friend. Okay, Captain G. Uh. <laughs> Olive. Uh-huh. Keep an eye on Captain H. Okay. Which one is Captain H? Uh, it's it's the, the that's what I am, but he's Captain I, so I'm actually a ahead of him a little bit. As you're talking to Whoa. each other, you both are still dangling off this massive wheel. What should I do, Captain H? Uh, ba basically nothing. If you do anything right now, we're going to immediately fall off course. So you must stay perfectly still. She falls asleep and lets go. <laughs> <laughs> like collapses to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I run into, I drive into the ground, I guess, because my, my weight's the only thing on it. Yep. How so heavy you'll... are you? I'm oh, like, wait, not I'm not that heavy. Light. Yeah, I'm You're, very, very light, but I do have hammers and shit. Everyone will begin to feel the ship slightly shift over to the left. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. He's going to go back and forth. All right, hold, hold on. I got this. Okay, hold on. Okay, oh, this side now. Okay, I can keep this balanced if I just put this over here. And he's going to like put things on things and try and wedge a hammer at the base of it to stop it from moving. Uh, and hopefully does. Um, Howie. As you're yes. looking around and trying to do this, um, you'll see a small figure over here will begin oh. to scurry into this room. What the ah, <laughs> stow away. <laughs> what did that figure look like vaguely? Uh, you couldn't tell. It was just like a small just shadowy shadow figure. Yeah. movement. It's like the shadow of okay. a small creature. Well, his his predator instincts would kick in, I think, and he would just completely lose focus on the ship entirely. Oh, no. And, like, scree as he lifts off into the air and, and starts to fly towards it. Okay. So you're going to just kind of dive bomb over here. Uh, yeah, like a cat that sees a, a mouse or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With your token selected, uh, left-click those stairs, and you'll go inside. Eh. All right. As you do that, you'll find some stairs that descend underneath. You'll hear the creak. Oh, you did it twice. You'll hear the creaking <laughs> of. Uh, you'll hear the creaking of of the stairs, uh, as if something is walking down there. Ah, uh, stowaway! I found it. Yes, this will solidify my position as the captain. <laughs> Goes downstairs as the captain. Uh, yes. <laughs> you, you go below deck. Uh, there you uh, see a variety of windows uh, that kind of like uh, goes off. Empty uh, boxes over here, two stairs that ascend further below deck, and several doors over in this location. Uh-oh. I have choice paralysis. Um... <laughs> Did I get any indication of where it went at all? You can make an investigation check if you'd like. I would like to look around and look for anything that's like or a perception check. Moving or... Either either will work. Honestly, a perception check will will help this one. Perception, okay. Yep. Um. Oh, perfect. Nice. Uh, uh you. <laughs> you will hear uh, footsteps uh, <laughs> descending deeper into the ship over here. Ah. <laughs> 
Yes, dinner. Dream <laughs> dinner. Oh my god, dream dinner. As you walk in, you'll look out. Um, and then you'll see this door <laughs> close. <laughs> I have your corner now, interloper. You have no chance against me and my... Where's Artie? You have no chance against me. Artie's on Ooh, your uh, wrist. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Can I open the door? You will see a small bathroom with no one in there. Ah, uh, I know this game. He's going to walk to the toilet. It is pristine and clean and has not been used. Nothing is inside. You'll begin to watch cope. as driplets will in this bucket over here. What the? Huh? Um, it's just a driplets. You mean like driplets? Yeah, yeah. Dropping? So, 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 yeah. It, it, it's like it's got a little resonation. It's kind of like coming oh, out the from surface. there. Yes, of the surface. Yeah. Ah, oh, huh. how, how bizarre. Maybe, uh, maybe something. In, he's gonna cast fairy fire mm -hmm. in the room with him to try and reveal anything invisible. Uh, do I, let me just click that for you. Thank you. Boop. Give me one second. Sorry. Oh, you're all good. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fairy light. The fairy oh. fire just begins flickering around. <laughs> oh, no. As it does, uh, you feel, you see a muddy hand come out of the toilet and pull you in. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it. uh, it's the squatty potty man. It came for us. <laughs> Not again. You're in a better traumatic toilet incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You oh my God. Immediately, uh, the, uh, the, the, you mean as you get pulled in, you'll see a little bit of the fairy fire as if someone is like trying to fight or like tackle with you. Um, Brett. Yes. I have to tell you, right before we started stream, I, I shared an anecdote of my youth of oh, no. a horrifying incident where I fell into the toilet for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, you just no! Like, you, this is a trauma session today. So for 10 right, let, help, minutes. Help me through it, Brett. I need you. Yeah. For you 10 minutes. Something is fighting you within the toilet. Oh my God. It's holding me in. It won't let go. Mom, where are you? <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then the the rustling stops. Oh, and you'll see the fairy light, the fairy uh, light from above, still flickering. And you feel you oh. can maybe get yourself out of the toilet now. Um. Well, first he would. Am I just pitch blackness? Yes. Uh, he would use his artificer uh, infusion to just tink one of the items he has in his inventory to give it light, you mm -hmm. know, to make it like a surround light. Do I see anything in the toilet? As you go to use your artificer infuse. Oh, where where is it infused, by the way, for the light? Sorry. You said you have an artificer infusion that lights. Where is it? What it what's it? Uh, on? So that's magical tinkering, I think. Mm-hmm. What did that's you put it magical... on? Oh, sorry. I see. Okay. Um, I'll take anything in my inventory, like my light hammer. I'll hold, okay. I'll make my hammer light. All right. So as you pull out uh, the hammer. Uh, and yeah. light it because you've already put the tinkering upon it. Uh, it'll light up and you'll see a green hand holding the hammer. Ah. Uh. Um. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong part of the map. Yep. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> he'll look at his hammer and his severely mottled and yeah, like speckle-ridden flesh. And he'll go, Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Why am I all green? Did someone have a nasty green diarrhea in here? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> and he'll climb out of the, the toilet. I've never heard the British way to say diarrhea before. Diarrhea? <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> With the R on the end. <laughs> diarrhea. While, How weird. While this is happening above deck, um, uh, 
uh, Vulcan Tantu, what are you doing as you're like stomping around a little bit? You just watched. He's not stomping. He's just stood there with his arms folded, as, <laughs> looking in the direction the ship is moving. Uh, you'll as you're standing there, you'll watch as how he like runs underneath you in the uh, deck right below, <laughs> like looking for something. He'll like watch out the corner of his eye and then just go and just like look back up and watch the <laughs> ship move in the direction. Olive, you wake up. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Olive, you wake up. <laughs> is where is Mr. Howie? Mr. Howie. He's not what I sound like. Huh? She's gonna look at her hands. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, he's definitely dreaming again. Okay. Uh. <laughs> he's dream. I can do anything. She's gonna try to fly. <laughs> <laughs> you jump up into the air and then just <laughs> land back down to the ground. Oh, he's not. I kind of hurt. Uh. She's gonna start wandering. <laughs> um, by the way, for both the uh, uh, Pikel and model versions, uh, mm -hmm. you guys have the inventory or most of your inventory from your previous uh, game. So oh, make sure shit. You, you check that out. Um, oh, shit. Wh while you're looking around, I'm just gonna head it back over to. There we are. I'm gonna head over here. Um, Benji, why don't you introduce this character and tell us a little bit about it? Oh, just describe it. Out yeah, of to the to the audience, to those that haven't met him. Well, he was called Motel, uh, no surname, and he was my goblin rogue from the Goblins of Io campaign. He is a grimy boy. He's like a slum rat kind of goblin that was trained in in the art of assassination. Um, because he didn't really have any other options in life, so he had to take anything he could get to get money. Um, but yeah, he, he was kind of like a, a brotherly, sort of fatherly figure in the, in the Goblins group, because he could protect people, and that was, that, that, that's the boy. He's a saki, you know, asshole. He cares about money, and he doesn't have much of it. And that's his character. And after that, you'll see the light... <laughs> Dissipate away. All right. Uh, where am I? What the hell? Why do I seem a little bit taller? <laughs> <laughs> Why are my wings like flapping against my back? Weird. All right. Uh, what are you doing? Model. He's just wandering around. Okay. He's just confused. I like this it. is, this is Howie's. You know, clearly Howie, right? As far right. as he's aware. But Mottle's body, and he has a big leather coat, which kind of perfectly looks like Howie's wings. So <laughs> in the darkness of the cabin below, he can't. He doesn't really know what's changed yet. Just that he seems, he seems to be covered in green uh, poo poo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you look around above uh, above deck. Uh, Olive, uh, it, what is, what is, what is Olive currently doing as you're watching this mammoth staring out <laughs> in the distance? She, she's like fidgeting nervously because she does not understand what is happening to her. It's mm -hmm. not the first time she's woken up and full, felt entirely out of character though. So mm -hmm. <laughs> she's just scared something has happened again. Uh, yes, this definitely feels like deja vu. Yeah. Um, Damn. she's just kind of fidgeting and like, she looks down at her feet. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> Why are they so big? Oh and hairy. Oh uh, Bree, why this don't you try to go back to sleep? Uh, Bree, why don't you introduce this character uh, to the audience? Yes. Say a little bit about it. This is Pikel. Uh, she is a goblin who wields a soup ladle and carries a giant pickle jar with her. She is a cleric. Uh, she's very food obsessed. She's a feisty little thing. Uh, and yeah, she's she can heal with the power of pickles. Okay. 
Uh, and while you're doing that, uh, kind of heading over to the, the Memrath Tantu has become, uh, Sam, why don't you, uh, talk about this character with your audience, with the, with the audience as well? Uh, this is Vulcan. Um, he was from the, was it the, was it the, the Hellscape? Yeah. Hellscape? Yeah, yeah, Nova Hellscape. Um, him, his brother, um, a being called Talas, uh, were... The first, uh, is it Devils, I guess? Yeah. Of Io? Yeah. First um, demons of Io, yep. Yeah, first demons of Io after uh, coming through a warp and wreaking havoc thousands of years ago. All right. Um, Vulcan continuing to stare stoically over to the uh, front of the ship. And They're below deck. <laughs> you just say that? Yeah. <laughs> I see them scurrying like rats. Uh, he's talking to me. <laughs> Who else? Are you Tantu? <laughs> no. I'm so confused. He's in here somewhere. Sulking. Oh. He's okay. He's gonna be okay, Tantu. Are you sure this is just a bad dream? <laughs> you just are screaming that like yeah. <laughs> over. She's, I mean, she's it kind of just like frantically like walking around. <laughs> like... Uh, as you walk around, you will see this goblin walk out uh, above deck. Uh, I found you, interloper. Oh, right. Another one. I found it. I found them. I found them, everybody. Come outside. He's going to grab it... Pikel. Yep. No, no, I oh. just... The from... interloper has been found. No. From, from the captain's room, you will hear uh, familiar yet different voices <laughs> uh, causing a uh, commotion. Oh, I... I'm not interloper. I am just... My olive are I... confused. I don't know what happened to me. It's not looking right. Why is my voice weird? Ignore her, Captain J. All right. She's an interloper. Who even are you? I'm Howie. Oh, Howie Ardwing. It. It's like me. Oh. Huh? Olive? You're like me. Yes, Nothing yes, like I you. I am Olive. Howie! <laughs> yes. Leighton looks over at Qua and looks back at the two of them and just goes, I've battled with all of you before. Uh, I've never met you before today. I don't even life. know. You. Yeah, what yeah, are you talking this, about? This was today. Yeah. Leighton points at... <laughs> at Pickle and goes, You! You're the pickle person! Is not no what talking? And she's like holding the jar and doesn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's gonna unscrew it and look inside. Oh, is why would anybody eat these? It smells so gross! No. Leighton walks over uh, to Mottle and pulls out a uh, a bag of coins and just puts it in his hand to see his reaction. Um, <laughs> Mottle without even realizing it. So he still thinks he's holding Pakel, but he's already brandishing a knife towards Leighton. Oh my god. Wait a minute. When did that happen? <laughs> uh, it'd be really cool if you could put the uh, the gold in my little bag here. Uh, Leighton does so. <laughs> Why does that feel so good? <laughs> so you, none of you remember. Uh, no. remember what? No. Leighton eerily looks at the sky and just kind of says, The space baby. What? Uh, I think 
maybe I felt something when you said that, but maybe I'm just tired. Hey, who's holding the wheel? Uh oh. Late Leighton gestures over to Kwan and goes, Ah, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> the ship has been adrift left for quite some time now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start slowly making slowly your way up the stairs. Hobbling <laughs> towards the wheel. Mm -hmm. Kubi comes over and she looks kind of fascinated and she says to them, Hello, um, so my ghost wanted me to ask you if as goblins, you know the trar trar hun hun dance. Leighton immediately goes, all right, I'm out of here. I'm not, <laughs> this is not, I'm not doing this again. Kwa, wait for me. Uh, what the hell is wrong with all you people? Wait, Captain, you maybe need this the most. I do not need this dance. You can do it. I've seen it enough, Luna. How did he uh, know it was Luna? Do you know this dance? Uh, uh, Kubi, I, I don't really know what you're talking about. My me ghost said either. that she was raised by goblins and that a big part of goblin culture was a constipation dance. <laughs> uh, when, uh, when, when you cannot go number two, you <laughs> do, drink this herbal tea, and then you dance in a special circle. Luna, that why? is why I did not want to be around for the dance. She says He's it works probably every really time. constipated. Maybe if you give a demo, it will spark memories. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. good idea. Copy, copy, you can participate too. <laughs> no, I'm not going to participate in anything. None of you, are, I don't know any of you anymore. QB, you're the only person that I know at this point. I'm going to leave. You don't, don't you get constipated? <laughs> oh, I, I think she probably is right now. Yeah, maybe it's constipated right now. Do you get constipated, Mr. Elephant? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> oh. Can you explain? I don't know how to explain to Elephant about uh, it. It's when you try to go, it's pushing hard, but nothing come. Mm -hmm. You know? What? It's when you eat a lot of food and then not your tummy is full and you sit down to go or you squat and nothing come. It can be hurting sometimes. It's painful. Are you edible? No! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, Any, Vulcan, anything is <laughs> edible once. Vulcan, I'm pretty sure that if you eat one of them, you will become constipated. And you'll have to do the dance, so don't, don't yeah, get any big ideas. Well, you have to drink the herb tea first, and then you dance around the person who cannot go number two, and you wave your arms and you say, "Drar drar hun hun." Oh, is that right, Luna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Do you, do you know? Uh... <laughs> it works 100% of the time. These, these Wait, creatures so are funny. It's just some kind of poo ritual. Gesture to them and walk away. What? They're funny. Leighton <laughs> <laughs> <Layton, laughs> Lay takes out a knife and cuts off one of uh, Qua's mushrooms, splits it in half, and, ha <laughs> and hands it and hands it to uh, to Vulcan and just goes. Cheers, mate. We're gonna be here a while. And downs half the mushroom. He'll sniff it and then just I don't shrug know and then if throw you're it supposed back. to eat those. <laughs> okay, so I need <laughs> constant. Uh, what is it? No, I need constipation saving. No, throws. I need I, yeah. I need wisdom <laughs> saving throws one. from the two of you right now. <laughs> oh well, Vulcan's good. Uh, Give me. I don't know how to do it, Brett. Oh, it's here we a, go. It's, it's a, yeah. There you go. Hey, you oh boy, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Right, there you go. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't even know how the mechanics of this would even work. Immediately, uh, Leighton, you begin to find, feel yourself getting very, very dizzy. Oh God. 
Don't worry, everyone. It's all a part of the plan. Layton pulls out a, a bottle of rum and starts drinking. Uh-oh. And you'll yeah, just... it's probably good that I'm steering. And you're just watching as, like, everything is getting gnarly. The colors are getting <laughs> going around you currently. Uh-oh. Uh, Layton, Layton, uh... Layton looks at Vulcan and just slowly, like, scratches behind his ear. What are you doing? Just go with the flow, mate. You have great fur. You are so majestic. I don't have... I don't have fur. What... What, what is this, then? You tell me. Well, I'm... What's that hand doing? <laughs> I'm 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 just giving you a good pet. A pet? Yeah. <laughs> I'll break that hand. No, 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 no. Vulcan, you and I we see eye to eye. Do we? <laughs> of course we do. Because you're you're cross eyed. Right oh. Now. Oh I mean right literally right now. Yes, I am a little cross-eyed. Oh. That mushroom really fucked you up, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. Woo. I told them not to eat it. Oh, Give me another. God. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give him another, Qua. <laughs> that's not my name. <laughs> Come on, Qua. And Layton comes over and, like, tries to rip a mushroom off his back. Oh, no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucked up if, like, veins were, like, attached Dude, to that? It was like, oh, yeah, like no. the horse's oh, like, You just grab a tumor, yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> rip it off chunks of my flesh. Dude, stop. <laughs> stop eating me. Um, oh. While you're doing that, uh, going back over to Kopi. Uh, Kopi, you, you walked over in here. Uh, what are you currently doing? Actually, uh, I was trying to go up the, the ladder to top of the ship. Oh, the, yeah, the, the you just, you would just walk, is, you would just walk up the out? stairs. Yeah, just walk up the, just walk up the stairs. The, the two sta no, not those Wait, stairs. How do you do? The, the Wait, stairs no. on this, because it's on this part Come of the on back. Thing. So you walk up, okay. and you go up, right over there, mm -hmm. and then you just walk up the stairs. To the sail? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. no. And then you're no at wonder. the front of the ship. Oh, no, it's kind of jank. It's not working pro Oh, there you go. I mean, okay. you're, you're, you're there? Okay, cool. I, kind of I meant to bit. go here. Ah, gotcha. Well, there you are. <laughs> so what are you currently doing, Kopi, as you're standing over there? She's just sitting there staring off. Okay. And, uh... <clears throat> Oh, I'm sick of this dream. Why can't we just hurry up and get the memories back? As you're standing over there, you'll hear a familiar voice from behind you. <laughs> I'm working on it already. This is the first time I've done the ritual. Wait, wait do I actually hear that? Yep. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, there, there you, you are. Here. Good, you can hear me, finally. Oh, it's... Is that... Gopi, is that you? Yes, it's me! I've been trying... On. What the, look, I've been trying to get you there for quite some time! Ooh, sorry. <sighs> Remo keeps drooling on my foot. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know, it's better than the Remo in here. He's, he, he's a fucking turtle. What? <laughs> You'll... And he's speaking so slow, it's driving me nuts! You'll watch as he looks over there. And he'll he'll turn over to you and he says, "Yes, yeah, something about the, the the memories, the the memories that each of them are attached to." I've been reading quite a bit of this ritual while I've main, been able to maintain it, but I was hoping to speak with you. Is it? Uh, oh my! You just kind of watch as Brolvix is like looking at everyone and it's like, "That is everyone, right?" He sighs and says, "Yes." I don't know. It's I don't understand. It's they're, they're totally different people. Well, it's because of their 
I, I suppose they're past lives. Uh, the ritual is meant to find th those memories that are hidden or sealed away, but unfortunately it seems to have manufactured something. You watch as Brolvik starts looking around over here. This may have combined each and every one of your experiences. It, it, it doesn't matter. I, I do think, though, I have found the sealed memory. Who? Juby? What? Both. Of, 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 of all of... And Cuby, yes. Oh, okay. Well, hurry up and give it to them. I, I don't have it with me. I just know where it is here. What do you mean, where? We have to find it? Oh, yes. You're, you're currently sailing in a sea of memories and experiences. It's not something you just hand in a silver platter. You've got to, you've got to she find it. Eyes. What can you, like, push us in the right direction or something? Like, hurry up. Well, I'm working on it. I mean, the I ship's here. Place. The ship is here. I'm trying to bring you to the tower. Okay. What, what do you want me to come? What, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. And you'll watch. It's like, bro, that kind of like wa walks through you. Am I am I okay on this thing? Am I like? Hmm? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you're you're keeping balance. I mean, you're you, you're able to keep okay. your balance I'm the entire checking. time. Yeah. And you'll watch as uh, Brol like just sort of walks over and says, "How was everyone handling these uh, strange forms? It seems." Well, uh, th hmm. they're all quite the bunch. Honestly, I'm getting annoyed by all of them. But so nothing's changed. <laughs> okay, that was not in character that I laughed. Okay. <laughs> that was not in character, okay. <laughs> I mean, you, what do you, you mean by that? You get annoyed rather frequently, is what I'm trying to I tell you. Get annoyed by you! You get annoyed by everyone. Not everyone, just you! Oh, I that's Cherry's out on that one. <laughs> oh, oh, she starts I'm... waving her hand inside <laughs> Brolthek, trying to like push him away. Yeah, as you're Sorry. doing that, nothing. You're just like going through, and he's like, "Yes, I, I figured that uh, you wouldn't be able to touch me, which is why I'm able to say these things." You're a big old grump. <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, I'm, uh, it's out of character. I'm laughing. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. You are probably one of the grumpiest people I have ever met. And I'm a herald to an arch devil. She's just like baffled. She has like the <laughs> Pikachu meme face on right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I feel a lot better now that I've gotten that out. As soon as I'm out of this dream, I am going to snap your neck through and through. And then I'm going to stab you a thousand times. Uh, I'll keep you asleep a little while longer then once the ritual is complete. She like does like a football tackle at him. Like <laughs> yeah, you just completely go through. You're lucky you're still out there. Look, all my, the jests are all fine and good. Uh, we may have an issue. What? Well. Um, so there were, were six of them, uh, that seemed to be a, a, attached to this phenomenon, to this memory. Uh, each of you have separate memories. I was looking through the book, and uh, apparently you have a variety of lives that you have lived and experienced that uh, seems to transfer from person to person. Uh, only a very select few become attuned with this this memory oh, and all six of you uh, seem to be attuned to it very fortuitous so the amalgamation should have made experiences from six memories but there seems to be seven at work okay what does this mean i you know you have to explain it to me like a child <laughs> What I'm saying is, if one person is supposed to have a memory, why are there seven when there are six of you? She starts, like, counting on her fingers and... You 
It's not me. You're the smart one. It, it, I, that's the well. That's the problem. That's what I'm trying to say. We have a rogue element in play. Oh shit! Which one is it? Moga. She takes out her uh, spear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing a little bit of studying. I have a theory. And I suppose since it's just the two of us for now, I think it's all of. What? What do you mean it's Olive? Olive seems to have two memories attached to her. Which means she's oh. housing someone else's experiences. No, 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 no. That can't be possible. I mean... What? I, I, can't, I can't tell this to her. From my understanding, reading into the tome, it's a very, very rare phenomenon. But sometimes... A memory keeper will attune themselves to more than one memory. This normally takes place when a very grand event occurs between two of the memory keepers. But I'm uncertain of what that could be. All I know is I think Olive has another memory that has been attuned to her this entire time without any of us knowing. And who or what that is is making this ritual a lot more dangerous. A lot more complex. I see, so... Do you want me to drive this other memory out? You... Might not have a choice. You see, the amalgamation was supposed to be a straight journey, uh, directly to the source of where we need to go. Kind of fills the way, uh, tells a, a, a sort of like a dream, if it were. But there would be a point A to point B. This dream was supposed to take you to Olive and Cubie's locked memories. And that's the way the amalgamation was supposed to be made. But now the amalgamation seems to be fighting actively against you. Which means whatever this memory is, it's a hostile element to you. It wants to see you fail. It wants to keep you in this ritual. Okay, well, how do we dispatch of it without letting that memory be aware of it? Well, you're speaking with me, of course. Uh, I'm not a part of this, so it shouldn't know anything that I'm doing. But, I think you just continue sailing along the way. Because huh. th there's two things I know. The locked memory, the, the one of, of Cubie and, and Olives. They're over there, in the tower. So is the rogue memory, a hostile element. That seems to be at the tower as well. Almost as if it's waiting for you. It knows what you're trying to do. It knows what you're trying to get. And it seems to know that you will have to go through it to unlock it. I see. Should I keep this information from all of herself? Will it damage her in any way? Her... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it would harm Olive in any way. But I also don't know what the rogue memory knows. Or what they don't know. Or why it was attached to Olive to begin with. I will have to leave it to you. You seem to understand this... Well, experience this ritual far more than I do. I only know it from a studious practice, a scholarly pursuit, but you're actually experiencing it. You probably could provide far more insight. Has there been anything unusual? Anyone appearing? Someone attempting to stop you? Do you no, know? not necessarily. I mean, we did fight some 
pirates, and we have a pirate with us. Right. But he seems all right. But from, what, from what I can tell, he's a a dream and an aspect of someone from from one of your past. No, I don't think the pirate would be. But you've encountered pirates, you say. Any, like, ringleader of sort? Wait, just to, just to clarify. Yes. Like, we, we did, like, visually see this, this orc, right? The, the, the dark orc or whatever? The dark orc? What do you mean? Are you talking the about the, the... Are you talking about, um... Ironside? Or are you talking about the? No, he's the, talking about the guy with the glasses. The glasses, oh, like the anime the orc. Past. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you did we see did it. See yes. Him? Okay, I just want to clarify if we did see him or not. Um, <clears throat> there was this strange orc that we saw, you know, in glasses. Uh, seemed kind of a have some sort of dark energy flowing from it. But we never got the chance to really catch up with it. Hmm. That is interesting. Does that ring a bell? It could very well be, I'm not certain. But you described it as a as a dark figure? Shadowy yes, yes. in nature? Yes. It could be the rogue memory. Or it could be a deep trauma someone that may have inflicted a great pain upon one or, or many of you I'll have to hmm. I'll have to read more and see what I can discover okay. that would well, that would be a, a a good suspicion as well thank you um you know um there's one thing that I don't quite understand hmm Everyone seems to be weird in some way, but I seem to be normal. Well, I mean, you know, I am pretty normal myself, but, you know, you're, is there a reason? You're different. Does this have to do with me not having a reaction to that stone back at the tower? Quite possibly. That device seemed to tap into monumental moments in previous lives, but if it didn't do it with you or me, then he may not be connected to the memory as they are. But you do have the memory phenomenon within you, but it seems to be in a different way. I've been meaning to ask you a question. You shout something often when you attack <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was a chant or a, a taunt or something in a different language or a name what is that thing that you say what do you mean what when I say when I attack with my spear yari 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 no right before that you you say you say a thing, you say, grant Zer me strength. Oh, Zara the Bold! Yes. What is that? It's my... It's my ancestor. One of my ancestors, actually. Your ancestor? Yes, he's cursed. Cursed my... Wait, sorry. <clears throat> Let me think. <laughs> oh, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. He's the one. He's the one person that is cursed this armor that I'm in. And he haunts it. But he also gives me strength at the same time. Your ancestor haunts your armor, grants you strength. Is a curse, but a blessing at the same time? Yes, yes, all that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe your attunement to the memory is different from the others. 
Maybe it has something to do with this Zero the Bow. I mean, it would make sense. Uh, these memories that are attuned to everyone uh, seems to pull something from a, a previous life that they experienced, but if your ancestor is a part of you, then maybe. And then he just, he stops there. It will. Wait, Anyways. he says maybe, and then he stops? Yeah, he just says maybe. Like, maybe that, maybe that is your, your memory attunement. Me what, what, what? He, he, you're not going to explain any further? <laughs> well, I have his theories at this point. I mean, everyone attuned to the memory experiences, uh, things that have happened in their previous lives, but you quite literally have two live experiences your own and this zero the bold who is your ancestor maybe you're getting something from zira in this amalgamation well i don't feel any different i mean he's literally hovering over my shoulder right now i um yes i've Do never never seen anything oh Okay. But anyways, it's... Uh, so, no, I'm uncertain what the amalgamation will do for you with the way that you're attuned to your ancestors. But, however you wish to handle it with the rest, I shall leave up to you. I'm uncertain okay. how this world works. Well, I would love to tell everyone, but they're all fucking demons at this point, so I don't know who to tell. No, 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 no. They're still them. They're just within a previous life. Okay, well, I'll try to do what I can with the information you gave me. Thank you so much, and I'm going to stab the hell out of you when I get out of this dream. I'll keep you asleep for a minute longer so I can run. Toodaloo! Okay, fuck you. Bye. You're in love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of sweet, isn't it? It is kind of sweet. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> You know, you know, honestly, if this is a fucking dream, I'd just rather just jump off of this damn ship. Oh, no. Nothing happens anyway, right? Uh-huh. Didn't they say if we died in the dream, we die in real life? Did Brolvek literally say that? I swear, before we went in, he was like... Yeah. Don't die in there. Like, it was like, yeah, it was like... Yeah, it was pretty explicitly okay, like... Um, it's um, Matrix rules, yeah. Yeah, it's Matrix uh, rules, yeah. We, 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 she didn't say that because she would have never said right, that. Right, right. I mean, she would absolutely say that, but then not do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um. Well, uh, maybe not today is the day to jump off a cliff. Uh, but anyway. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, uh, Leighton is continuing to go batshit high. Okay, Vulcan, I have a question to ask for you, and it's not defensive, at least to me, but just hear me out. The husks. Jesus. Vulcan's going to eat another mushroom as he's asking the question. The husks. I'm not just some buffet. <laughs> oh, come on, Qua. You've, you've been high on your own supply before. Hey, Don't act like my name. Do you want some of your own supply? Because all you have to do is grab your back, buddy. No, I need he to focus on that. steering. His neck is too short. Can I make another save? Uh, No, you're good because you uh, saved it the first time. This really undoing it for me. He wants to be high so bad. Uh, <laughs> you can always choose to fail. <laughs> choose to fail? <laughs> Just let it hit you, buddy. Just let it hit you. It just too weak. Let your defenses down. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not sure what I expected. The tusks. Is it like having two noses or four noses? Or does it just... Because you have the husk and you have the trunk. I'm just fascinated because you're such a powerful being. How does it all work? Is it for killing? He points to the serrated broken tusks. Ah! Ah, and like Leighton looks over at Model and goes, "Killing!" 
Ah! So <laughs> you, like poking at that model, would go on the tusk and your guts would just all over the place. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. Right. That is okay. a very efficient killing weapon. Ah, hmm. uh, you know, I, I don't like really a... like to get my hands dirty when I kill. And he's gonna look down and see two knives in his hands again. <laughs> uh, they just keep popping up there, man. Why are they got they they've got carvings on them? Like someone's written something, but it's spelled horribly wrong. It says. B R E D, and the other one's B U T T A. Breed. Bread and butter. Oh. Uh oh. It's not what I thought it said. You yeah, mean? no, don't, don't worry. I think, Olive, uh, leave it to me. I'm the brains of the group. Okay, so Mr. Harry sounds good. Wait, am I inhabit? Wait, so I'm so I'm pulling a tonto right now. That's what I'm getting from this. What? I'm pulling a tonto. I'm pulling a a a, a, a room a re, re, remo. Right. We we're all swapping bodies or taking on the bodies of other people from the dream. I don't right? think that's tonto. What do you mean? Who else Are would it be? Are you tonto? Vulcan. See. That's not time to. Yeah, and well. you, you are Qua, one of the uh, greatest geez. turtles <laughs> I've ever met. How many turtles have you met? Just you. One. Just it, the one. Isn't he a tortoise? Tortoise turtle. I'm a pirate. Who gives a crap? You're a terrible captain, Captain K. Layton, without hesitation, grabs Model by the neck and not even looking at him and lifts him up and just goes, <laughs> I would be very careful with your next words there, mate. Your pupils are so dilated. I'm not that afraid. And then he just <laughs> sort of like falls through your neck as you realize your grip has been loosening this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Layton like casually tosses Model across the boat. Just like a little toss. Just yeah, you're toss. not worth it. Yeah. Ugh. <coughs> eh. Kopi, they are all doing drugs. Yes, I know. It's 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 a wonderful thing, isn't it? Kubi, can you come with me, please? Oh. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. such a bad influence. <laughs> Luna, are you seeing these colors? Is she seeing the colors? No. I just, all I see is, it's like the rainbow. <laughs> Captain. And how I do I look? You might be hallucinating. Layton, like, looks at, uh, at, uh, Luna, and his smile starts to fade. And he starts to realize that Lady Luck is is the curse that he's had that he never solved and he just starts to slowly slump against the wall and gets really quiet oh oh, oh i wait I, I didn't mean that i no no it's it's fine it's fine i need i need a minute are you what have you been doing since the last time we we're in the same place. The boy. Aelus. Right? I've, I've been searching for the boy. I promised I'd never leave him in. What kind of father am I? Aelus was a very bright boy. I, I think that whatever happened <clears throat> after we said goodbye to him that day, I can't imagine that his life was anything but extraordinary. Right. Strong boy, smart boy. He learned from the best. Yeah, Le yeah. Layton pulls out a 
his bottle of rum and tries to get away from everyone. Hopi, where have you been? Fuck, I was in music. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was at the other side of the ship. Look, Kiwi, I have some really important information. Come over here. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Goodbye. great. Now there's three of us. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, uh, now might be a good time to mention I have no idea where I'm going. The ship well, is still for, continuing to drift left. For what it's worth, Qua, you are a much better captain than Captain Howie. Oh. Owned. Uh-oh. Thoughts behind you. <laughs> Assassin. Oh, shit, yeah. Roll, roll a stealth check. Instinctively, you know. Yeah. Uh, how do I... Nah, can I just do it through the normal system? Oh, yeah, you still do it through the normal system because you have the stats of... Uh, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, oh, you... my God. Yeah, that's right. I do have more stuff. Yep. So you're just sort of like <laughs> immediately just slunking down. Okay, can I climb his back? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make an athletics or acrobat. Uh, go ahead and make an uh, acrobatics check at advantage. Oh, that's shift click? Yes. <laughs> and you just, yeah, you just hop on and he didn't even notice. I want to, like, put my chin just over his shoulder and whisper into his ear. What did you say? <laughs> Layton, without even thinking, grabs Howie. Uh, by the neck and starts <laughs> scratching him and just goes, oh, Scrum, when did you start learning English? I don't remember ever teaching you how to talk. Scrum, uh, my name isn't Scrum. And you'll oh. realize then it's Howie on your, on your shoulder. Oh, right. Leighton takes off his hat to reveal Scrum. Uh, yeah, you'll see this what little... Is scrum? You'll see this tiny little uh, uh, one-eyed squid uh, on, like, octopus. And he just kind of looks over uh, at you, and he has a little horn for a mouth and just goes... Mm, don't pirates usually have parrots on their shoulders? Yeah, well, don't... Don't owls usually not turn into goblins and then threaten to murder me? I don't know. Well, first of all, I've not turned into a goblin. I'm just inhabiting one. And second of all, I I could sit on your shoulder. Maybe we could co-captain. And he's going to twiddle his two talons <laughs> together. Leighton Layton reaches oh, inside toes. of... Goblin toes, sorry, wait. <laughs> goblin toes. <laughs> it doesn't I look as owl. cute in this form. <gasps> yeah. Leighton, Leighton reaches back into his coat and pulls out a new captain's hat and puts it on his head. Wow. You sure do have a lot of those. Um, <laughs> and in my size, too. Thank you. No problem, Captain. And then he also pulls out a captain's hat and puts it on, on uh, Qua as well. Qua, well, you now have two hats on you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my like double captain. No, no. See, the other one was just a pirate's hat. Now you have a captain's hat and a pirate hat. Two different mm. kinds of hats. You know, I always wanted to be a sailor. I mean, you're a yeah. turtle. I'd imagine that you already were one. Again, I just look like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> While this conversation is happening um, over here on this deck... Uh, the conversation between uh, Kopi and QB continues. Look, Brovik uh, found a way to talk to me, and he told me a lot of things that I should tell you about. And one of them being is that apparently Olive has a rogue memory inside of her right now and is preventing us from completing this Algorithm. Wait, what the? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, 
God, now you have uh, now my brain just thinks algorithm. Wow, you hacked me. Uh, amalgamation. It's making the alg amalgamation much more difficult. And we have to dispatch it somehow. Is it her memory? She apparently has two. <gasps> like two brains? Or like somebody <laughs> else's memory? I don't quite understand what he told me, but apparently there's an evil rogue memory inside of her this whole time, even before the dream. Oh. Did he say how we can do that? I'm not sure, but we have to do something. Okay. Is that little green thing that's supposed to be Howie? Um, there's two green things, and one of the- they're goblins. Oh, I'm sorry. There's two goblins, and the one that has the jar of pickles, that I think- I think is Olive. Okay, so we should probably not tell all of that yet. Okay. Howie would know what to do. We have to get Howie. Okay, I, I think Howie is the other green uh, goblin. Okay. Whom I you think. see squatting on Leighton's shoulder, by the way. Like an owl. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to get Howie and... Ask him for help. Yes, because I'm too much of an idiot to figure out what to do. No, you're not an idiot. Brovek probably just didn't remember to tell you what to do. Okay. Um, how He's do we He's kind get of an asshole as well about it. Yeah, he should be nicer if he wants to marry you. <laughs> what do you mean, marry me? I... He... Okay, should I? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you get back here right uh, this minute, young lady. He <laughs> runs away. Layton, That's so cute. Layton looks over at Pickle and just goes, "Pickle, I don't uh, mean to offend, but is there any way that Vulcan, Captain Qua, and Captain Mottle can have name. a pickle?" The pickles, I've been dreaming of them for an eternity. I just let I'll me like share them. In this dream in eternity. <laughs> uh, she's gonna look down at the jar and, like, casually, she's gonna shrug and be like, uh, It's not the problem, really. She goes to unscrew it and she can't. Something within her does not want to unscrew the jar. Oh. Uh, do, you, do you want Vulcan to open the jar? I mean, very strong. Does Vulcan have opposable thumbs? Uh, it can try it. I I want to give you some, but maybe I don't want to. It's maybe you need to prove it first. It's very special pickles, okay? But <laughs> give me this. <laughs> Angel. She's going to reluctantly hand it over. Job. And then, when you take it, she's going to be like, No! <laughs> like some fucking Bilbo. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Precious. Yeah. It's it it had that, the classic hiss moment, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. All right, I'm going to open the jar. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Easy. I will hand the jar back. <laughs> be careful with them. He's very... A little juice spills on the on the board. It's okay if you eat them, whatever. I don't like them. <laughs> He'll sniff it with his trunk and then just like grab one and then snort it up the trunk. It's gone. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. oh no! I don't, I don't think that's how that <laughs> works. Yeah. Oh no! Latent, <laughs> la what the hell's latent, gonna happen latent, now? Latent's, latent's eyes oh, no. light up and smiles like the sloth from Zootopia oh. in slow motion, just like. <laughs> Super oh, no. like, yeah! <laughs> um, Vulcan, you will begin to feel uh, a, a bunch better after snorting the, the pickle up um, as old <laughs> wounds begin to heal. Oh, man. Hey, that's good! That's really good! Yeah, Of course he's good! 
Better than these mushrooms, anyway. Is <laughs> the is pickle is going to be good. I don't know. I said this. I don't know. I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm loving this struggle. <laughs> ah, Luna. We are about to have a pickle. Do you want one? I would like a pickle, yes. Uh, everyone needs to have pickle and joy. I guess it's just a free-for-all or something. I'm, I'm not eating that. Luna, you have to help us get the goblin to come with us. I will. So do you eat the pickle? Me? Yeah. You said you're oh, eating. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh yes. Alright. Uh you will also feel its uh healing properties begin to uh take over. And as the pickles are being eaten, <laughs> uh olive slash mm -hmm. pickel, uh yeah, mm -hmm. you're gonna see that you're that <laughs> as you're just wow. looking at all the pickles that are there. Uh, you will realize you only have three pickles left. Okay, everyone, it's give it to me! Give it to me! She's gonna grab her back and shove her. She's gonna, like, just shove her fist in the jar and start ravenously eating a pickle. Oh, oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> but she's like, oh, I don't want it! I don't want it! I don't want it! <laughs> <laughs> And it's slow just, down, Olive. It's just the most wonderful pickle I'm you've ever tasted. To slow down. It's slow so, down, save one for me. It's so good, though. I can't you, stop. You instinctively picked the best pickle to scarf down. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, thirty. That's a huge Holy hill. shit. <laughs> you wouldn't get rid of them all, would you, pickle? I mean, uh. Uh, what did I say? Olive! Uh, it's not... Uh, no. It's... It's feel like it's maybe regenerate, but it's be careful, because it's very precious pickles, okay? Well, well let old Howie have one, alright? And he's just yes, going to... Of course, to... he's give you one model. He's gonna, like, Assassin's Creed leap off Leighton, <laughs> thinking he has wings, and just eat shit on his <laughs> face. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh now I now I really need that pickle. <laughs> Feed me like a baby <laughs> bird. <laughs> <It's about. laughs> Eat me. It's not a very good look for you, Mato, but okay. She's gonna grab a pickle. I have uh, no dignity right now. Yes, say open wide. She's gonna like shove her into her hand in his mouth oh, with the pickle. Instinctively in grabs the worst pickle. <laughs> it's in that it, one pickle. It's a tart pickle. Ooh, very oh, sour. Yeah. All right. Don't really know what you guys were talking about regarding the taste. Ah, oh. but I do feel better. Ungrateful. It's ungrateful. I'm just gonna kind of lay here for a while. Layton pulls out a bag of, of gold and just slowly pours it on top of model. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I feel <laughs> at peace. These <laughs> look very peaceful, Mr. Model Howie. Just slowly closes his eyes. You'll feel the ship move under the uh, weight of Vulcan. Ah, uh, I no longer feel at peace. Hey, Vulcan. Yes! I had an idea. Get rid of that boat there. Just throw it overboard. Vulcan's just gonna kick the boat overboard. <laughs> You'll actually just hear it just, <laughs> like, snap off the back of the boat, of the back of the ship, and then you just hear a... <laughs> just spray, like, just splash over there. Um, and as... You do that, uh, you will, Vulcan, you will begin to see something surface 
a, a, a little bit. And then you'll realize as it's surfacing, it's only a part of this massive fish that is now under the boat. And yes, you kind of like look around, uh, you will see its figure uh, takes up uh, a majority of the boat before it sinks back down. Ah! Oh. Something hey. to hunt. Once we ditch that, we might be a little lighter. And we can, you know, sail. You'll watch as. Oh no, we're not escaping this thing. You'll watch what thing? as you'll watch as the ship is still turning, and you'll realize you are now going uh, par almost parallel uh, to the tower. <laughs> uh, this giant beast, which it we must slay. Oh, I love a good fight. Where is it? Come, save yourself. Where's the beastie? You literally can't miss it. It's like every, it's like everywhere you can see yep. is beast. And then you just you're watching as it's just sinking down a little bit. Layton looks up to the sky and thinks it's just a cloud. It's just a cloud. What are you talking about? Oh, just a cloud, is it? Right. I mean, look, shadow underneath the boat. Get out the way. <laughs> Falcon's gonna push him out of the way and jump off the back of the boat. Oh uh, my whoa. god. Uh, he will sink, surely. He's dead. <laughs> he, Tontu is dead. Oh my god. Wait, no. yeah, I don't know. How do we stop a boat? Is Tontu piloting him like a man? No. <laughs> Tontu's um, gotten like, um, get outed. <laughs> so, Tont, uh, well, Tontu Vulcan, as you're beginning to sink down, yeah. uh, you'll look up and you'll see the boat getting farther and farther uh, okay. wi while, the this beast? <laughs> while the water does not seem to have it. As you're looking around and sinking, you begin to land over on this giant fish. And as you're slowly landing over, you'll see other strange fish swing around you. Uh, you'll actually see one of the fish kind of has a, it's almost like a sword fish, but instead of sword, it, it has a serrated edges, uh, like a saw swing around you. And yeah, you just land over, uh, you just land, your feet land on this thing. And this thing looks like it's more than half the size of the boat. And you'll realize that you're on a whale. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. He'll just hold on. Cool. <laughs> okay. He'll hold on, and next time it surfaces, they'll be able to see him, and he'll be like, it's him! <laughs> yeah. Uh, the whale just keeps sinking down. Uh, he'll stab it. He'll st <laughs> so wow. You just, so you just... It, you'll, be right. you'll begin to watch as... Um, as you stab it. <laughs> you'll just... <laughs> kind of hear this... As it just continues to like fall down, um, as you stab it, uh, you'll notice the air or the water begin to freeze from where it's supposed to bleed, and it just begins to raise up to the surface. Um, as you guys will watch, uh, Vulcan sort of just like standing on top of what is visibly. A whale. Okay. So only the people who are looking overboard can see that? Yes. Okay. It's blood as ice! <laughs> A fish with ice for blood. Aye! And it begins to sink back down. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Get back on the boat. I'm so sure what that. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll just watch this. Can you this help him? <laughs> the whale just kind of begins going down. And Layton. then. It... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, it, re it returns back up to the surface. You'll see the trunk come out first. And, to uh, do at this point, I've it, I've committed, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Layton Layton climbs uh, up to the uh, to the crow's nest. Yes, and then like tiptoes 
across the sail, like over, like to the side of the boat. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he grabs rope and he ties himself, to, like <laughs> across the waist, and then waits for the whale to come back. And Tatsu or Tatsu Vulcan just emerges back up from the water. Leighton. Want... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say I'm gonna attempt to grab the rope with one hand and keep holding onto the fish with the other hand. <laughs> All right, give me uh, two opposed athletics checks, please. Um, me or stripping? Uh, well, what? Well, yeah. So Vulcan needs to give me an athletics check, uh, and you need to give me an athletics check. Okay. Oh man, what the hell? I have high ac acro. Oh, that's ac acrobatic. Yeah, that's one. my bad. Ac my bad. You're good. I messed up everyone. Give me a sec. Uh, Jesus. There All we right. go. All right. So. One moment, please. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, you'll watch as uh, just barely you'll begin to be pulled down as Vulcan is trying to pull you down with the whale. So am I, I'm, wait, I'm being yanked back yep, down you're being with yanked back. You're being yanked back down with him. Uh, Leighton will like let go of the rope and just jump onto Vulcan's like back. All right. Give me an acrobatics check, please. Oh God, this is going to go horrible. You'll, hey. you'll land right on Vulcan as the two of you begin to submerge underwater with the whale. You know, for being very high on mushrooms, that was quite impressive. I don't think they can hear. <laughs> we can't. We, 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 <laughs> no, we, are, we, we, are, we are underwater. And then, yeah, oh. you'll, you'll begin to return back up, up to the surface. And the whale just sort of is oh. like departing. Or do you stay on the whale the entire time, or what are you doing? What is the goal here? What are you trying to do? Is the whale dying, or is it good? Are you trying to kill it? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, trying okay. to kill it. Yeah, you're, trying you're ride just it. repeatedly stabbing this. So every time so you <laughs> stab at this whale, the water slowly <laughs> turns to ice, and then it boils a little bit with the second stab. And then it begins to evaporate with the third stab. And then a little whirlpool forms. And you'll realize, for those that are spell inclined, that it's just leaking magical energy as you're continuously stabbing at this thing. Leighton leans off of uh, Vulcan's tusk and just starts cleaving with Immortal down at the whale as well. Oh my god. So, yeah, you're just. So, everyone else is just watching as the water is getting. All these just various colors of, of different elements are just fueling up as you'll see sparks of fire and, and, and electricity firing up there, a little bit of wind spiraling around, a bunch of, a bunch of icicles there, and at, repeatedly after enough effort, you'll just watch as the whale just pss, begins to just dissipate. It just begins to, to fade away in these various uh, elements sparkling throughout the entire ocean. And as I can't eat that. <laughs> as it's as it's as it's like dissipating, Leighton tries to use a mortal to absorb the whale's soul, but like doesn't know why it's not working. Yep, you're just holding the sword and uh, trying to absorb this creature's soul, and and nothing. As you'll, uh, okay, um, why, while it's still relatively ethereal, uh, he, but we can stand on it. He's gonna next time it emerges, I'm gonna try and jump to the ship. Okay, so yeah, and from there you'll just immediately um, hop over to the side of the ship, and with great ease, just sort of slowly climb back aboard the ship. Oh, mate, that was so exhilarating! Oh, oh that was awesome! Oh, Why aren't the fish oh, real? Oh, Leighton like goes to high five uh, Vulcan and like like hits his tusk. Vulcan doesn't know what that is. <laughs> Leighton's like pap, uh, fist bump, handshake, hug, and 
Blood what bond. These, I don't. Are you these terms? done fucking around? Why are you not fucking around? This is boring. We have somewhere <laughs> to be. Why aren't we there yet? I don't know. <laughs> Do you understand the concept of travel and time? Yes, we it's boring. We, we, we do, he is right, though. We we should have been there by now. I've been thinking Wait. about it real hard this whole time. I feel like some of you haven't been, like, you know, focusing hard enough. Wait a minute. Time. Leighton, like, looks at the water and notices that, like, the whale, like, guts is, like, still going with us. It's, like, moving with us. Like these Ooh. elemental, these elemental guts are still there. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, all right, look, I've had a few mushrooms. I've had two bottles of rum and I ate one of the world's most delicious pickles. <laughs> but I don't think we're going anywhere. Ow. I've uh. been sailing this whole time. There's no landmarks. There's no, the horizon's not changing. The weather's not moving. We're stuck. Well, why don't we check the front and see if we're creating a wake? Why don't we just throw something overboard? We just like did, I think. Uh, did it not drift away? Oh, I it's, think yeah, it's, it's, com there. it's completely drifted away. <laughs> Yeah, then, considering everything we just came up with, I, I think maybe, Leighton, you should probably lay down. All right. Blame the old pirate man. The immortal pirate man. It's got nothing to do with age. Just I, sure. I'm, I'm probably sure. old. <laughs> maybe just listen to the guy with two hats. Um, yeah. Excuse me? Uh... QB walks over and kind of pokes model slash Howie in the head and says, Hello. Hello. Uh, is, is Mr. Howie inside you somewhere? What do you mean? I am Howie. Oh, okay. Um, we have Thank a God. problem. <laughs> we need Thank a very God. smart owlet, owlkin. An owlet is what we're called when we're young. I'm an owlin. We need a very smart owlin to help us. Somebody who really knows about science. More like a noyin. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I what love Vulcan. We need someone very smart. Um, do you think you can help us? Well, yes, because I'm the smartest. That's that's what I was thinking. That maybe you are the smartest, and so um, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm the smartest. Do you think you maybe can come with with um, Kopi and I to help us with our problem that requires the smartest person? Right, right. How much yes. money you got? I mean, wait. Oh. Why did I say that? I don't know. I thought you just would help us because. You're so wise and smart. Right, right, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'll do it because I'm wise and smart and not for money. Okay. He's going to roll over onto all fours. Yeah, don't be like me. It's, it's, it's an awful life. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. He's ready to go. He's like gesturing like I'm ready to walk. Brett, <laughs> by the way, I'm on all fours because I, I, I can't make myself stand up straight. I don't know how. Oh, click your token, and then while holding shift, use the mouse wheel. <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a downstairs? secret room. Ooh. Hello. Okay, uh... I don't know if I'm... Or should I... <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, I'm going to make this quick. Look, all right. Olive apparently has a rogue memory inside of her and is trying to prevent this all from happening, from her gaining her, regaining her memory back. She has two memories inside of her. Brovik just told me he was able to contact me. Right, right, because we're here because 
We're trying to find QB and Olive's memories. That's right. I remember now. Yes, and QB apparently be, seems to be fine, but Olive is not. What do we do, Howie? You're the well, smart one. QB's seeing ghosts, so I don't feel like QB's entirely fine. Not really uh, that, a ghost. That's fine. I mean, she she doesn't do anything. Uh, that's perfectly normal for her, you know, uh, despite right. the other things that she says. But all right. So, okay, let me get this straight. Rogue memory, ah, uh, and that's somehow a bad thing. You have multiple memories inside your brain at once. Yes. Do you mean multiple apparently... sets of memories, not just? Two individual memories, because that seems pretty normal to have more than one memory. But it's not her memory, maybe. It's not her, and also it's it was there before we entered the dream, apparently. Ah, and it doesn't a want us to memory. find the other memory. Yes. Oh, I well, hope I'm, I'm, this I'm really good at finding stowaways, so I can probably think of something to do. <laughs> ah. Okay, right. Well, uh. Hop to it, uh, smarty. It... Use your science, Howie. <laughs> use your science. I, I, I... Hop to <laughs> it, you smarty. Did you, know, you, you just call me smarty? Stand on her. Come on, smarty. Do the smart thing. All right. Um, well, well, hold on. Can we just workshop something really quickly? Um, Beakers and, and formulas. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, um, all right. Hold on. Solution. Hold on. Mm -hmm. hold on. We have Olive with multiple memories, but we're within a dream right now. And she's expressing herself currently as another person. And I'm meant to make sense of this with science, of all things. Mm, yes, yeah, science. Right. And I'm an engineer, not a neuroscientist. Mm. I have no idea thing? what he's talking about, but yes, you are the smart one. Do it, Howie. I believe in you. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll give it my all. Thanks for the vote of confidence, gang. Oh. Uh, Brett, can I have rolled sleight of hand to try and rob them? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> After they're just complimenting you so much, you're going to steal from them. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, right. do we get the roll at least? Model can't fucking resist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. But it's genetic. Go ahead and roll a uh, perception check. Good luck. Oh, that was close. Um, nice roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. So let me go ahead and just roll over here. <laughs> oh, well, that's perfect. Uh, you, you? you will pluck Zero the Bold. So, oh wow, it's Zero the Bold. Um, <laughs> you will you will successfully pluck uh, a ration. All right. <laughs> That's good enough for me. I'll take it. <laughs> Can QB take this gold that's on the table? Uh, oh, did you help go back into the into the room? She never left. She was eyeing it the whole time. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, where are you? Hold up. He's back inside the. Oh, oh, I see. That's uh, that's my 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 fault. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You just kind of drag this chest of gold into your your satchel. <laughs> the gold feels weightless. Ooh, light gold. <laughs> Diet gold. <laughs> Diet gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Olive. Uh, uh huh. Yes. Yes, what do you want? Do you mind coming with me for just a minute? It's why? Where do you guys uh, keep wandering off to? Uh, it's for us to know. Don't worry, and Captain. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find out. Remo, keep steering. The don't ship, stop asking questions. The ship has turned left ah, enough where now it is a you. The ship is going in the opposite direction of the tower, but then still slightly curving over to the left. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing donuts on the ocean. Yes, correct. <laughs> are, are we aware that it's going that direction? I always wanted to be a sailor. Do we know we're trying to get to the tower? Tower. <laughs> Uh, yes, <clears throat> and and now that you're asking the question, yes, you are now aware of this. 
Uh, no, no, you're not going the right way. What are you doing? Uh, Captain. Uh, what do you mean? I'm holding the wheel. Captain Qua, haven't you been following the compass? Compass? No, I've been, uh, you know how the wheel kind of, you, you got to feel the sea. So the wheel sort of moves on its own. And Layton I use my hands to kind of just guide okay. it a little bit. You know, Layton points to the compass that's in the center of the wheel. Oh, that, that tells that you where to clock. go. No, that te- that just uh, what, what what do I know? I'm the old pirate man. Wait a second, uh, Drunkton, Drunkton, come back here. Uh, wh- why aren't you steering the ship? I mean, I guess I could if you want me to. Well, it's better than Dreamo doing it because he's not getting us even near the, the what do tower. You mean? I'm doing a great job. See? And he points towards the tower behind you. <laughs> it's in line of sight. Yeah. See? <laughs> Looks behind you, points at tower. All right, let's turn this ship around. Ugh, fine. It's okay. No, no, no. You've been doing great. Just, I'll show you how to do it. Come here. Oh, that's Let- cute. The bonding. Layton looks over at at, uh, at Kopi really slyly and goes, Kopi, could I get a back massage? Okay. <laughs> <That's the wrong laughs> going to get jealous. Looking for. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, Kopi is going to look at you with the most hor- horrified face you've ever seen on a, a person's face. And she <laughs> will... Scream at you. What did you say to me? Give you a back massage? How about I stab you in the back? Layton looks over at Luna and gives her a wink and goes, I've had worse done to me. Oh, gosh. oh my god. <laughs> Luna doesn't know whether to laugh or wink or. So she just does this weird kind of. Uh... She goes, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. um, w- while this is happening, uh, downstairs, uh, the goblins have gotten to the bottom of the deck. Oh, God. They uh, did slink off, didn't they? Yeah. Howie will lead, presumably, Olive um, with him down there, and he'll say, uh, Olive, um... Uh-huh. I've been trusted with a special mission as the smartest one of the gang. God. Yes, yes, it's a Mr. Yeah. Howie. Very and you smart. are. I need to double check that you actually are Olive. Well, I is feel like I am, but also not. Is you not feel like yourself either? You're not acting I mean, like Mr. Yeah, Howie. I mean, I feel like I'm piloting a flesh automaton doesn't feel right and I can't feel my bristly feathers yeah just this flaky feel, oh. skin and he's gonna pick a flake off oh you yeah oh yeah yes it's, it's, I it's can crumbling. look at that if you'd like uh, maybe with I heal you or something no I mean it's on the inside too I can feel it it doesn't feel right oh it's yeah. not to feel right but but that's besides the point I I don't really care about this body. It's not mine. It's just a dream. But Uh what we care about is what's inside our minds. So right now you are Olive, right? As as trying to be, it's feel like there is something bleeding through. Right. And 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 what do you feel bleeding through, Pickle? What did you just call me? I called you Olive. Oh. Gaslight girl uh, boss. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I thought it was a cute pet name. <laughs> it's feel like uh, not me. The most not me I've felt in a very long time. It's right. not the, good. And you feel just a singular instance of that feeling, that sensation, right? Or is there multiple? Hmm, Brett, what would I feel? <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, this this is a a this, this is a pretty strange experience. I mean, yeah, you do know that you're you're Olive. 
Um, mm -hmm. But as far as like anything out of the ordinary, uh, besides what's already happening, yeah, nothing that nothing you can else. tell. Yeah, yeah. It just feels as weird as everyone else is feeling. I guess everyone else is acting kind of weird. I mean, is Tonto is not even like here. It's like buried inside the elephant man. Yeah, well, I, I feel like, and this is between us, that's because uh -huh. Tontu's somewhat of a, a people pleaser. And I feel oh. like he probably just handed himself over to whatever oh. dominant entity is now uh, in, in closing him. Uh, whereas I you and I, okay. we're, we're dominant, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We're, we're really cool and strong. I don't roll over and fall asleep for nobody. It's not what no. I do. Right, exactly, I, I think. Uh -huh. Anyway, well, I, I don't really know exactly how to explore the mind. I'm not, I'm not studied in that. Um, so Is, really, why I, I, did you take me down here? Because I have one last solution, and it's the only thing I, I can think of. Solution for well, what? Yes, what is problem? There is no problem. It's just more like you've got something inside your mind, and then we're going to have to fish it out. And the only place I could think to do that is going to open the bathroom door. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is the what place you... where it all happened for me. And he's going to, like, slowly pat you on the back and, and gesture you into the toilet. Uh, it's... Oh, what, yeah. What is happening, Mr. Don't Howie? Worry. It's, a, it's more of like a scientific experiment, because... When I went into this magic box, don't think of it like a toilet as much as it's a magic box. And you just climb on uh -huh. in and it's going to, maybe it's going to change you back or into something else. In which case, I'll lock you in here. Is, why don't you do it if you're, you're so worried about changing back? Why don't you do it, Mr. Howie? Huh? I've already been down there. I vetted it. And it didn't change you back, so I'm not going to do it. It's a dumb idea. It's not to know what you're talking about. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back. <laughs> hold on, come back. All right. What? Fight climbing first. Are you going to follow me? Yeah. All right. Come on in. He climbs into the toilet. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you will see half of his body <laughs> in the toilet now. <laughs> we'll make some Any room. Now. Good over. He scoots as much as he can with his stinky <laughs> body. And now, half of your body is in the toilet, squeezed against Model, <laughs> who's only half of them is in the toilet. This is a very uncomfortable and cramped situation. It, is All half right. of their body, like, the other character you mean? Is that what you mean? No, as in, like, they're both standing <laughs> in a toilet down. at oh, the oh, same like, time. We're, we're both we're waist deep in the toilet <laughs> yes, It's like together. a jacuzzi. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, do you feel anything happening? Ew. Um, is my feet feel kind of squishy? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I used this before I came back up earlier. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's very gross, Mato. You should get the hold of yourself, okay? Alright. Um, anyway, I do have a hold of myself, thank you. I think I was trying to solve a problem that I can't quite remember. It's Strange. not... No, why are we doing this? You smelled kind of bad. That, what else is new? You've been telling me that my whole life. Yeah, well, it's maybe you make an effort. We've known each other so long, you know? These things I say about you, you know, change them, so... Olive, I can't understand when you're speaking like this. You're becoming erratic, and uh, honestly, if you let go of the pickle jar, you could have fit in the, to the, the toilet with your entirety. And then we could have actually done a science experiment and figured it out. But frankly... I'm I think trying to it. let go of it. I don't care about this thing. It's not that you cannot say that about pickle jar! <laughs> why, why do I keep saying this? <laughs> I don't know. It's thoroughly fucking confusing, and I don't, I don't know, know exactly what's where I am. I'm tired. I just want to sleep, but for some reason, his body won't fall asleep. I will. Uh. Have, will take out his notepad and just do a massive cross next to the try the toilet note mm -hmm. that he nodded down earlier. <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Experiment conclusive. I feel like this this toilet plan didn't really pay out and I don't have any other ideas so Olive either. I'm just gonna come clean okay Kobe and QB told me 
that you have potentially someone in your brain. Uh, well, yeah, that's what it feels like right now. No, wait, sorry. I, I messed this up. That's my fault. Oh, okay. You have someone in your brain and then another person also in your brain. Oh, what does that even mean? Uh, well, I don't know because I'm an engineer. <laughs> they kind of called me smart and I started running with it. I felt very powerful, like I could get stuff done, but here we are standing in a toilet right now. It's clearly not very smart, huh? What the fuck did you just say? Uh, I don't... I'm the smartest one. I taught you how to steal. I taught you how to haggle. You remember? He's gonna done it without you, okay? He sort of figured it out. Alright, I'm climbing out of this shit toilet. It's He's going to climb out feet. before you! <laughs> you guys just started to squeeze. Oh, they're devolving. Yeah. <laughs> Clamoring out. Out of my way, Pickle. He's get out I'm the going, way, I'm model. going on top of the no, deck, yes, right? I'm I going go first. Like, no, screw I you. Go first. No, screw you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just gonna hear uh, the goblins just arguing uh, with each other as they're beginning <laughs> to stomp up above. All right, uh, give me one quick second. What is? Oh, sorry, I'm trying to. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just realizing something. Give me one more moment to check some I'm stuff. I'm just realizing that the toilet actually was a portal. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, it's like in Skyward Sword when the hand comes up from the toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scary. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... All right. So. After some time uh, aboard the ship and finally realizing how to get the ship to go back straight, once you finish completing the circle, uh, turning around, uh, you'll eventually head straight off towards the tower. Um, it does feel like it takes quite some time of sailing as you're advancing over uh, to the island, but at the same time, it feels like in an instant, uh, you will arrive over at the landing site uh, right by the tower. So, give me one second, please. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Um, ah, Qua, I'm so proud of you. Captain Qua. Not my name. <laughs> All right, just just say it once and see how it feels. No. Just try it for me. All right. Wah. So. I don't like it. Come on. Ba -ba -ba, loading. There we are. Um, you'll find yourself beaching the ship. Um right over uh or sorry yeah you, you just kind of beach the ship ship uh on the beach while everyone is below deck uh and now with lady luck uh beached you'll see the massive tower off into the north as everyone slowly begins to walk out from below deck you all will begin to see uh the island uh, you all will also have completed a long rest. Hell yeah. Spell yeah, slots I forgot, back. I forgot Gore to sleep. Yeah. Up oh to my God. Gore. Off to the north, uh, the only one that's not up yet is Kopi. But you'll see off to the north uh, this massive tower uh, with this radiant light that is that is just illuminating from above it. Um, as the jungle before you uh, seems to be well-traveled. Hmm. 
I'll jump down. But as you guys are walk, uh, walking down, uh, Kopi will finally step out from uh, the deck. Um, but we'll see that Kopi seems to have taken a different form. Oh. There he is. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> as this man uh, will walk out looking at you. Uh, the armor seems to be very well worn. Uh, it's nowhere near as tarnished as the armor that Kopi was wearing. Who the hell? Uh, Arix, why don't you introduce who this is? Uh, this is Zara the Bold. This is Kopi's ancestor from 400 years ago. Oh shit. Me realizing that Zara is Arix backwards. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> hate it here. Yeah, that's, that's a stupid We're reaction. having this conversation again. We already had here. this conversation. Yeah, no, we... we have to do this in loops. Do we gotta oh. do this every time? Yeah, every single time. <laughs> Does someone new realize it every time? <laughs> yeah, it's every other time you guys have talked about this, I just haven't listened. Oh my god. All right. Um, uh, and nothing will be wrong. Uh, Zara is just walking forward. Does he say anything? And then uh, he'll turn around, not saying anything and just looking. I'm pretty sure I'm the mushrooms have worn off by now. Honestly, then, uh, at this point, are you it doesn't what I'm even phase me. Layton points at him and just goes, Who in the blue hell are you? And once again, Zero will just not say anything. And then at that moment, you'll hear, Kobe, they're talking to you. Why aren't you talking back to them? What? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> They're talking to you! Uh, why are you saying, Kopi, they're talking to you, sir? You'll then see Zara's face, like, in shock. Not real, still not realizing what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I think that is where we will end today's session of Curious Curios as you guys Yay. are beached up <laughs> over and uh, the Tower of Divinity before you and all of you taking the forms that you wish to have taken. Good session, everyone. Did everyone Good uh, session. Uh, <laughs> enjoy yeah. themselves today? Fun RP. Good session. Loved it. Yeah, it was very chaotic uh, everywhere. Very. Great. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, so my my real on. plan, by the way, for above board for for trying to get into the mind of Olive was actually going to be to dream within a dream, right? Because we got into this situation. Yeah, if we oh, incepted her. Oh, you're trying to incept me. Yeah, but then I just totally forgot how we got here, ritual wise. So then I realized, okay, we're in a toilet. I need to just get out right now <laughs> and <I need> exit <laughs> What <this>. the fuck? <laughs> Classic. Yeah. <laughs> I know this has been a, uh, our different fair, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, the memory quests that you guys have been on. It's been yeah, fun. It's great fun. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and do fan art, and we'll we'll wrap things up today. Uh, so this was actually when uh, um, it's supposed to be the end of Layton's art, but I guess it's up to Gerard if uh, if he would like to continue or not. I wasn't meant to keep you here the entire time because it's already been three weeks and we'll be off next week, so. Um, I'm... Oh, man. Next week is, like, the last week I can do because I'm going to no, be... I'm going to be gone for a long time. I'm going to... I'm doing a bunch of like summer games fest travel and stuff like that. Oh yeah, so, no, no, you're you're part. I'll be this, I'll like, be like, MIA. Like I said, this mm. was pretty much where we were gonna we were gonna part ways with Layton anyway. Captain so that stays with his ship. Cap's gotta well, stay with his ship. Captain yeah. is is still on mushrooms, and Captain needs true. to rest them off. I think. Yeah, That's he's gotta true. stay in the the monk. 
the, oh, that... wait, what? The cabin. I don't know. Well, he, the you, terminology? The, <laughs> the cabin, yeah. The well, you, you ferried us to the, this place. So yeah. You know. yep. I did my job. All right. Uh, so give me one quick second. I'll do some fan art. And... Uh... Love it. Give me one second. Sorry. This no court worries. does weird shit. Mm. Oh, that's not it. Oh, wait. That. Okay. Let me go ahead and... Share screen. Okay. Uh, so, no bingo today. Sorry, everyone. Uh, but got a little bit of fan art for you. Oh, wow. Oh, let me see. Let me see. I adore this. Look at that owl. <clears throat> I love it. He look, that's, that's so looks like he's got those old baggy eyes, you know? I, know. I love that. <laughs> he looks so grumpy. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. yes. Oh, this art style is cool. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. cool. <laughs> That's <Yep>. so cute. <laughs> I'm loving I'm loving these fashion. Oh my god, cute. Oh wow. Aww. <laughs> Not waterproof. <laughs> what happened to him? It's oh my great. god, these are really cute. <laughs> <laughs> <Derp>. <laughs> Love it. Just of me. Oh, that's nice. Dealing with catacombs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. 101, really? You're in the beginner course? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, figure skating Olive. That's, cool. That's what she oh, does, her cool, her big healing move. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Does she do like a triple Giga axle chat. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. the good way? Yeah, she face here is fucking Whoa. face plants. Here's the Whoa, art that's of insanely good. Oh, yeah, that's right. cool. we ever had the chance to show it off. Mariah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. There he is. So good. Yeah. <laughs> the toilet. The trauma, it's real. Yes. <laughs> oh, it was Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pika. Oh. Handsome yeah, goblin. Looks way, yeah, way more handsome than he actually looks, but I love it. <laughs> Crazed goblin. <laughs> so good. Oh, <laughs> cute. That's a surprise Pikachu face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the surprise do Pikachu face. Yeah. Do drugs. <laughs> do drugs? <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. And then oh, we've got so good. full art of Zero the Damn, Bowl that's so awesome. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay, All right, Donnie, great job. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for playing. Uh, we will be off next week, uh, but we shall return with the following week as you uh, guys continue to explore through the uh, the memory. Thank you guys so much for playing. All right, yeah, thanks for the games, Love man. And Gerard, you. thanks for playing with us. Yeah, thank Gerard, you. thank you again oh, for thank you. for guesting. It's been an absolute delight uh, seeing Layton again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me, and thanks for. Uh, Thanks for letting me fuck your guys' shit up. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, 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 man. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, literally anytime. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.